Hello everyone, Jason Alea back here again and today I'm going to be doing a little bit of an experimental video here and I'm going to be talking about a Hollywood celebrity and her ideas on politics. Now, this channel is not political. There's only a few times where I do mention politics when either a movie has a history with politics or the politics are about the film or something like that. But other than that, this has never been my intention to bring politics into my channel. And I'm doing this just to see how people will respond to this kind of video. And since this is a pretty recent article from Newsweek, I know it's not much of a reliable source, but this I did some research at least and this actually did came from Scarlett Johansson. I thought I'd talk about Something at least Hollywood related, something movie related, and an actor's opinions on certain things of today. And if you guys like it, feel free to comment down below. And if you don't like it, again, feel free to comment down below. Let me know if this is the kind of stuff you want to see. And yeah, let's let's see what Scarlett Johansson has said recently. The recent actress who played Black Widow from the Marvel Mac Universe had come out on a interview to discuss if actors should be like involved with politics or should be obligated to be he having opinions on it. Personally I think they should just stick to their jobs which is acting and not try to like shove this stuff down our throats but Let's see what she has to say. Um, and I quote, I don't think actors ha have obligations to have a public role in society, Johansson told the gentlewoman. Some people want to, but the idea that you're obligated to because you're in the public eye is unfair. You didn't choose to be a politician. You're an actor. Your job is to reflect our experience to ourselves. Your job is to be a mirror for an audience. To be able to have an empathetic experience through art. That is what your job is. I can't agree more than this. Too often you see actors, especially last year, last year was like the pinnacle of this stuff, talking down to people like they knew better than us. They think because if you're in a certain political side, you're either a good person or a bad person automatically. Like the worst piece of trash or God's gift to mankind. And that's not the case at all. In fact, that is a fucking lie. So whatever my, I quote, whatever my political views are, all that stuff. I feel most successful when people can sit in the theater or at home and disappear into a story or performance and see pieces of themselves or, a or are able to connect with themselves through this experience of watching this performance or story or interaction between actors or whatever it is. And if and they're affected by it and they and they're thinking about it, and they feel something, you know, they have an emotional reaction to it. Good, bad, uncomfortable, validating, whatever, that's my job. The other stuff is not my job, Johansson said. And I see where she's coming from. Again, actors today, it feels like this is their job, to spew out political statements and not very much do anything else than that. I n rarely ever see actors today like Mark Ruffalo, th even though I like his Hulk, I don't think I'm not the biggest fan of him as a person. Just become too political. Sarah Silverman is also another example. And so, you know, I see where she's coming from. Like, they feel like it's their job to do this when it's really acting that they should be doing most of the time 
and I completely agree with her here. And I think that's why I rarely get a sense of Hollywoodization and being corrupted by her most of the time. I mean, since I'm not going to assume that she's automatically a good person. She could be completely different in real life if I ever meet her. But I have to agree with what she says here. This is exactly how I feel about actors feeling about politics these days. And, and to get an emotional reaction to whatever character she plays, that's basically what she does best. Whether it's in movies like Marriage Story where she plays a divorced wife or in the Marvel Cinematic Universe where she plays a superhero. She is good at getting different kinds of emotions out from her audiences and I think that's why she's such a great actress. Um, but yeah, I completely agree with what she says here. And then it goes on to say controversies surrounding her and Ghost of the Shell and a few other movies. I feel like this is the reporter's way of trying to like cancel her like she has been involved with this canceling stuff. Like it says, uh, Jo Hansen was asked about the controversies that has sometimes featured throughout her public life. These have included criticisms of her role in Ghost in the Shell which I thought was okay. It was pretty good but not the best movie. Where some charged an, um, where some charged an Asian actor should have been cast. Um, an actor's job is to pretend. That's basically it. Um, unless the movie is supposed to be historically accurate, like if you're making a movie about Martin Luther King Jr. or Malcolm X or any of the presidents of the United States, like George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, uh, you have to be historically accurate in my opinion. That's the only exception I'll say that you have to get those kinds of actors because you need to be as accurate as possible in order to portray the history that had happened before as accurately as you can. You can't just make up and change history like it was supposed to be something different. But if it is a fantasy movie like Ghost in the Shell, I could give less of a shit. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is just a reported way to try and get her to get her in the bad light. But majority of this, actually all of this stuff, I have to say I agree with. Um, too often the politics corrupt an individual's mind and makes them think of other people in kind of bad ways like if nobody agrees with my political opinions they're automatically a bad person if I had that kind of reaction to my friends I would have no friends at all I'm I'm sure that the friends I got they have completely different political opinions than me and if that's the case Okay, at least we enjoy movies, we enjoy playing games, we enjoy hanging out with each other. We still have those commonalities. Nobody's going to be the same. Everybody's going to have different ways of thinking things. Uh, and that doesn't mean that you have to be friends with everybody. You, you can still, there can still be people that have the same opinions as you probably, but are actually still shitty people. But... That also goes with people having different opinions than you. And you can still be friends with them because they're not complete assholes. So, yeah. I I really understand where Scar Johans is coming from. And for it to be part of your job, like, if it's cool if your job does involve politics. Like, if you are working at a government place or something like that. But if you're like a work, an employee at maybe let's say Walmart, you do not want to probably bring politics into your work in every day of the week because the your employees will get tired of you. They'll probably think you're not doing much other than just feel out politics during your job hours. 
you're probably going to talk to your customers in bad ways and paint yourself in a bad light and possibly get fired. Um, but you gotta stick to your actual jobs, guys. Um, just like if you are an actor, do your acting job. If you are an employee, do an employee job very well. Um, if you are a works a workman, like if you're like a construction worker, do construction. Not everything has to have politics. I mean, that could wait another time. That could wait with your family, maybe if you're talking about politics in the dinner table. Or if it's a discussion your friends like and that you have in common, you could talk about that. But it doesn't have to define your everyday life, is what I'm trying to say. Like, I love movies. I want to be a film director. But it's not like filmmaking is going to define my everyday life in every moment. I still want to have a life with my family, with my friends. I still want to have fun with myself. Um... And all of that. And I'm really not much of a political guy, which is why I do not talk about this stuff. I just, I'm just doing this just to see how people react act to this kind of video I do. And maybe give a little bit, uh, talk about a little bit of myself to you guys. Um, because I basically like interacting. That's, that's basically it. I have no, I have no ill intentions. Um... But yeah, this, I agree with Scarlett Johansson here. I completely understand where she's coming from. Um, if you guys feel differently, let me know in the comment down below. Um, and yeah, that's it.